in this theme park news roundup we are talking about the haunted mansion walls are coming down around the haunted mansion at disneyland we're talking about soaring over at epcot big changes over there we're talking about destination d some stuff was announced recently with that we're going to talk about it. we're going to break it down we're going to discuss it analyze it up next with oh g baby oh. Welcome aboard, everybody, to another episode of OG55 with the Italiano. George, welcome back, sir. So glad to be back and uh, always enjoy having these discussions with you, whether they're like full length, in depth, uh, breaking news stories, or even just these small little uh, pieces of roundup news. Always a good time. Absolutely. If you could let everybody home know where they could find you on social mm -hmm. media, sir. Absolutely. You can find me on X, formerly known as Twitter, at Disney George. You could also find me on Instagram, Threads, and Blue Sky under the Disney Italiano. And of course, you can find me right here on my home base at Orange Grove 55 with Citrus Corner with all that sweet, juicy, but sometimes sticky Disney news and info. There we go. Let's dive into our first topic at hand. This was announced a day or so ago, I believe. Um, this is Destination D23, a journey around the worlds of Disney. Uh, remember I wanted to make a part, remember I wanted one like Hollywood studios or like DCA to be called that the wonderful world of Disney. I'm telling you, bro, they watch, they watch our stuff. Uh, they may, they may. Yeah, that's pretty cool. I like, I like this artwork too. It's pretty awesome. But it says here, August 29th to the 31st, 2025 at Walt Disney World. Mr. Scott Gustin here says new destination D23, a journey around the worlds of Disney will be held at Disney's Coronado Springs Resort at Walt Disney World from the 29th of August to the 31st. The event will be doubling in size. Mm -hmm. Wow, that's interesting, because they, they actually expanded the expo too recently mm -hmm. uh, with the Honda Center, right? Yes. And will feature exclusive presentations from Walt Disney Archives and the Walt Disney Studios and peeks into the world of Disney along with a variety of unique interactive and shopping experiences. So interesting stuff, George. Now, from what I understand, I've never been to Destination D23. Mm -hmm. It wasn't always held at the Coronado, was it? At the Contemporary? Correct. This is going to be the first time ever it's going to be held at the Coronado because the Coronado's um, basically built for big-time um, expo-like um, events. You know, they, ha they hold a lot of uh, banquets and stuff like that, but they always held Destination D inside the fantasia ballroom at the contemporary this is not the case this time so because they are holding it in the coronado springs resort hotel as uh, scott gustin is reporting it is doubling the size of capacity for this um which is quite interesting and also too the dates are very interesting it is late august which recently when they started the destination d's um they usually were held like in, it started out in May and June. Um, and then they moved them to November. Like November, yeah. November, yeah. So they're going back to like the end of the summer, early fall months, which is quite interesting. And if you actually look at the piece of concept art, we know what Disney does and they don't do things um, just to do them. You know, they always like to throw in those hidden Easter egg um, kind of, like nods to the company and because it's titled like a journey around the world of disney um you can see the nautilus down at the bottom for twenty thousand leagues under the sea um up at the top right hand corner you see stitch's ship from lilo and stitch and over on the left you can see the up house which i think is very interesting yeah, they, it, there, there's uh, obviously the placement of these is not a coincidence. I would agree with you. There's likely going to be some kind of news with that. Stitch, I mean, the movie, though, the, the live action movie comes out in May. I believe it's Memorial Day, right? Yeah, because they recently, uh, they dropped, a, I think, a, a teaser trailer for, for Stitch, I think, like a, a day or two ago. Um, I can't remember. Um, 
Yeah, but that's interesting, though, because this is well after the premiere of the movie. So I wonder if there's something Stitch related for the parks. I don't really know. That's it is possible. I mean, because they did have Stitch's Great Escape, which is no longer. But with Stitch coming back in a big way, and if this live action movie, you know, brings in banger numbers, it may be a comeback for Stitch. It might. There's a, Stitch is a very, very popular character. And I mean, especially like with Japanese, like they love Stitch. Um, and, you know, there's a lot of tourism at Disney World. So, yeah, I, that's interesting. That's very interesting, George. A, a astute observation indeed. So, yeah, it's going to be at the end of August, which is which is around. It's kind of around like the the D23 fan event kind of time, you know, like that August, late summer kind of thing. Which is I mean, quite I, interesting because they actually already started. Um, they sent out links for for um, hotel blockouts that if you want to try to book a room at the Coronado Springs right now, you can do so um, as an attendee. But what's funny is they don't have the tickets up for Destination D23, but yet you can book a room for it to kind of lock your place. So I wonder if they really are anticipating big number of people that are able to make it because normally, most recently – the last couple of Destination D23s, they sold out within seconds. And from my knowledge of going to, to several Destination Ds, there was always time, maybe like several days to a week, that you can like get tickets if you really wanted to. But the last couple of them, they sold out within within seconds. Now, you will be in California in August. Mm-hmm. Um, of 2025 you will be in california at this now will you be here that week i'm gonna actually try to shoot abby and i were actually talking about it because she's never seen the destination d so i'm gonna try to shoot for tickets because um after the end of my birthday extravaganza and also the second orange grove 55 meetup the checkout date is august 26th so I'm thinking um, they started like the block out dates for the hotel starting on August 28th. So I was thinking of maybe staying there maybe like two more nights in California. And then if I can get tickets, I do apologize, folks, that's the hype train um, yeah. that uh, that uh, we that her and I would fly down on the 28th and then just stayed on there because that is going to be around the time. um that uh, uh, you guys would possibly be coming down for the big trip for Universal uh, Cruise and Walt Disney World. Exactly, exactly. So yes, that that is going to be very, very interesting. We'll see. It seems like they're expanding, so we're gonna get uh, we're gonna get announcements at this thing for sure. Yeah, one thousand percent. Now this is courtesy of D23.com. Interesting. They got this interesting spirit jersey. Kind of interesting take on the Sorcerer Mickey with the old yeah. red. I've, I've yeah, never seen that. Yeah, they're kind of adding more merchandise, um, I think, for like the new tier for gold members. There was always two um, two tiers for gold members. It was, I believe, the, just the gold member and gold family uh, gold uh, family member. Now they're adding a whole nother tier for uh, gold membership. Interesting. Interesting. Yeah, it says here D23 um, unveils uh, expanded offerings and new gold membership plan. Uh, a created uh, membership experience. So we got here. This is all the stuff that you get basically with NC Stitch again. They're yes. really pushing Stitch, man. Oh, uh, oh, and up at the. It looks like a pin too for 2025. I'm on up the left here. side. Yeah, and we got Goofy Movie, which you know we're all huge fans of that. Yeah. Which there, um, I believe that's the magnet because that's going to be one of the anniversary um, milestones. Because Goofy Movie in 2025 will be celebrating. Um, well, what's well? What's funny is they said it was thirty-five years, but I don't know how it could be thirty-five when the movie came out in nineteen ninety-five. So it's thirty years, right? Yeah. So I think they, I th unless they, they either made like a little glitch on there, um, or maybe unless they're they like, unless they're like bundling like the show's premiere date with all of that, because the show was around for a little while before the movie, right? Yeah, Goof Troop. Um, came out way before so um, maybe that's what they're maybe that's where the mistake was maybe that maybe they're basing it off of the show 
start date. I don't know. I'm just guessing, guessing, but they said 35 years. That's interesting. I think it did. It actually says it like when we scrolled on, I, I, maybe it said 30. I thought it said 35, but technically that would be wrong because the goofy movie came out in a goofy movie, excuse me, came out in 1995. Right. Yeah, absolutely. So interesting stuff, man. I mean, it seems like they're really, the, the cool thing about what we're seeing here. Oh, uh, and really quick, if you could scroll down. Sure. Some of the new events, I, uh, uh, adjacent to the destination D23. And this is quite interesting. What's coming back is um, the official tour of the Walt Disney Studios, which you and I have done. Oh, man. Uh, you have, if you're a Disney fan and you're able, if you have the, the means to do it, do it. I mean, the, the studio tour is absolutely incredible. I love doing that. And then they're doing what's called the D23 Spotlight Series. Uh, D D23 is teaming up with partners across the company, including the Walt Disney Archives, to create the new Spotlight Series. These in-person events will alternate between Orlando, Florida, and the greater Los Angeles area, taking fans deeper into unique topics such as a celebration of Walt Disney Archives' 55th anniversary, a retrospective of the Disneyland Resort throughout the years with Disneyland fond memories of the past, presented by director of the Walt Disney Archives, Becky Klein. Um, definitely shout out to Becky Klein. I've met her several times at D some D23 events. Very sweet woman. Yeah, I think she, it, I think when I did the tour, she was, she was, was she there. there. Yeah, okay, she was yeah. there. She's great. She's really sweet. Yeah. And then if you could scroll down just a little bit more, bro. So yeah, we mentioned about the, the official tour at the Walt Disney Studios, but this one is quite interesting because they've never done this before. The Walt Disney's uh, Los Angeles tour. That right. The Walt Disney Archives, in partnership with D23, announced a new tour experience designed exclusively for D23 Gold members. Walt Disney's Lon Los Angeles tour will take guests to many of the famous places uh, that Walt uh, frequently in Southern California. Um, Is it Tam O'Shanter? It's got to be Tam O'Shanter. I think Tam O'Shanter because it mentions um, personal, like significant locations, including yeah. his uh, office in the studio lot. The ink and paint building experience, which that would be interesting. And then a signature meal at one of Walt's regular restaurants it has to be Tam O'Shanter. It's Tam O'Shanter's. Now, it's funny because the original, not funny, actually. It's actually really sad. The The studio that was on, the, the studio he had before the one that we have right now in Burbank that was on Hyperion mm -hmm. was bulldozed. And it's like a Gelson's market right now. How fucking sad is that, bro? damn i mean all that history dude i think there's like if I'm, if I'm not mistaken i think there's like a plaque that like acknowledges that this was this was the plot of land that had it that's so sad there's no excuse for that that that, that is the real that that's a that's sacrilege right there oh man that's depressing yeah it says here anniversary celebrations okay here we go yeah anniversary cele oh no it says 30th oh, okay, movie, so I see where the 35th okay it was right next to it so that's actually celebrating home alone uh, 30, 50. Anyway. That's why. Yeah. Her, home Alone. So it says here in, in 2025, D23 will celebrate several milestone anniversaries for movies, shows, and theme parks with exciting in-person uh, events across various cities. Um, some of the fan favors D23 members can look forward to celebrating include Disneyland Resort 70th. Woohoo. Uh, you know how we do it over here. We do, uh, we do the West Coast, right, George? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna do the whole thing, but you know, you know it. Hi, Monster Hunter Pete. Hope. There we go. Happy 70th Disneyland. And then we got uh, Home Alone, uh, 35th anniversary. A Goofy Movie, 30th anniversary. Toy Story, the 30th, and The Emperor's New Groove, the 25th. Man, that makes me feel so old. I remember, like, oh gosh, it's crazy to think like all these Disney afternoon shows are like 30 years old. I know. It's I mean, that's crazy. so weird, man. Like, it's just like, I was, I remember that so vividly and like the excitement of all those shows and like. Well, and then even Home Alone celebrating 35 years in 2025. That was the year I was born. Like, right. Damn. Oh my God, bro. I'm telling you. Well, we got more news. The news, the news continues. The news continues. We have Epcot news. Hold on. Let me take that off okay we have epcot news first look soren finale seen updated and curved eiffel tower fixed at epcot so now the eiffel tower doesn't curve it does not have erectile dysfunction anymore or whatever that would be called i don't know i'm not a doctor so don't quote me um but look looking good looking good and epcot obviously we got the new the new uh i guess the new entry 
right to the park yeah like for world celebration for world celebration with the lights hopefully they get these lights working there's no excuse for that disney come on come on let's get that fixed yeah. you know what i'm saying um but hopefully they get them all fixed because it looks beautiful when it works but uh yeah it looks really cool i'm glad they updated the 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 finale scene to kind of incorporate like the new um you know the new epcot this is like a bigger version of it, it looks so good dude it looks really good i mean so good when, when this thing work when this thing is working it's gorgeous just come on yeah, you know actually looking at this it kind of looks like a little bit of like a a face look look at the like it looks like a like a like a like Japanese a smiling face anime like, there's the eyes the spaceship the earth is the nose and then you got the mouth for the ron <laughs> totally very japanese with like the kind of like the happy face eyes i love it dude that's freaking awesome and then i think we got one more picture yeah eiffel tower yeah this is cool news i mean any, any kind of expanded thoughts on this i mean i i'm i'm actually kind of surprised they took the time to even fix the eiffel tower thing um yeah, but i guess I they know. were they were in there for this for the epcot ending so they figure why not why not fix it right fix it yeah absolutely i did get to see a little snippet of it um of how the video actually looks and yeah it definitely looks much better it was a long time coming um i'm surprised that they waited that long to fix it but as you said because they had to go back and kind of update what epcot now looks like from the older version it's like okay yeah while we're in there let's fix the eiffel tower issue yeah exactly now i haven't been on soren at disney dca for a while do we have an updated disneyland or is it still that same like 2000 christmas no, I think um I think it is updated. Um but yeah, they didn't they didn't make any recent updates, which I'm actually kind of surprised as to why they didn't. I don't know if they I don't think they added the new Eiffel Tower sequence no, to Disneyland. That they didn't know. So that's interesting, but good news over there in Florida. Um I I you know, I'm I'm very curious as to what they announced at Destination D. I think the D23 what they're doing over there is exciting because what what we're seeing is like an expansion of these events one of the things that i was really worried about was like d23 as like an entity was going to kind of die off I, I didn't know if it was going to last you know what i'm saying and it seems like it's not only lasting but they're expanding upon this fan kind of uh what we call it fan club i guess so i'm glad that you know the expo is getting expansions now uh, destination d is getting expansions I don't know. I think it's exciting times, but anything you want, you conclude about the Walt Disney World story, George, before we uh, move on to Disney. Uh, yeah. Just kind of echo what you're saying. I'm very excited and curious to see what is to become of destination D. I find it interesting that they're moving it to a different location that is much bigger to hold more people for the popular demand. But also if you're going to expand it, that means you're going to have bigger stories to tell. And they actually said it in the description on the D23 website that this is going to be the biggest D23 fan event of 2025. So they're basically kind of somewhat matching it to the D23 event that was just held in August. But of course, on a little bit more of a smaller scale, but pretty big for 2025. For sure. Yeah, no, it's exciting. Like I said, the, the D23 stuff it, it, they're making they're making good decisions and i feel like you look all that talk about you know um leading up to the expo i remember all the talk was like oh that's gonna be such a mess with the honda center and everything we were there we did all three days i all think three. Honestly, it flowed much better to be honest with you because i've been to both expos where they incorporated the honda center and when they did not and i i think honestly it worked out well and to the people that maybe did not have a good experience with the transition it's a possibility because of you took the um the bus the bus and og were like you know what no we're just take a couple dollars right down the street to the honda center piece, uh, of, cake. Uh, piece of cake we love cake no but in all seriousness you know i like i like my cake real thick you know what i'm saying real yeah. thick uh no but in all seriousness um what was that thick and light <laughs> there you go there you go exactly um but what george and i did we didn't take an uber from we didn't take an uber from the convention center directly to honda what we would do is we, we were our hotel was pretty close uh -huh. so we took it from our hotel which actually helped a lot because i think it cut down on the price tag a little bit because i think they were trying to upcharge people i think like those convention pickups you get the pickup at the convention yeah yeah so if you if you can 
next time you go to the, the, the fan event and you're, and they do the Honda center again, which I'm sure they will. Um, if you have a hotel nearby, just do it from your hotel. Like George and I would walk back to the hotel, like what, like every day around like three or something. Three or so. Yeah. Yeah. We go back to the hotel, hit the jacuzzi. You know what I'm saying? Um, hit the jacuzzi, kind of chill out. And, uh, you know, we were, we were chilling, in, chilling in the, in the jacuzzi while, uh, while Lucas Kim was over there, uh, rubbing elbows with Bob Iger. It was crazy. Yeah. yeah, like literally taking selfies with Bob Iger is wild. Of course, we, we we have to we have to spread the love around. I mean, because we get Bob enough, you know. I know, bro. You know, we're we're in Malibu all the time with that guy. You know what I'm saying? You know, uh, you know, uh, paragliding over there and and uh, you know Bora Bora and you know, come on, yeah, let Lucas, hug, you know, see him a few times. You know what I'm saying? You know, no. In all seriousness, though, it was, it was pretty cool. But yeah, we would go back to the hotel for you know around three o'clock, kind of chill out, and then we get the Uber and we go down to the Honda Center. You know, so we can, go, so we did that for three days. So we would do all that. So I, so I wouldn't talk to D23 girl for three days. You know what I'm saying? It was all that work for nothing, George. You know what I'm saying? All, all, that, all, that, all that work. There was like <laughs> announcements going off, like about like movies being released. I'm like, what? And we're all what, clapping what, what, and laughing and there's OG. He's clapping, but he's not looking straight. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. Exactly. I know my brain was somewhere else. Um, but, uh, but yeah, it was a good time. They, I think they handled it very smoothly. If you go definitely do the Uber thing though, it, it's only like seven bucks. You know what I'm saying? It's worth it. It's so worth it. All right, here we go. We have some haunted mansion news. This is courtesy of Mouska gamer. Great account on X. Um, which if you guys have noticed, if you've been on X lately, I am not really on there any that much anymore. Um, I don't know. I've lost interest in it. I think a little bit, like, I just don't really care about it anymore. My account's on protected mode. I check in, in the DMS. That's pretty much about it. Occasionally I'll make a tweet. I, I made a tweet today saying they should make another chronic album. I mean, now that we're, now that the West coast is back, you know, I, <laughs> must have hung the beat, hope. <laughs> I said, we should make another chronic album, but I don't really tweet that much anymore. So if you really want to get more of OG, you're going to want to check it us out here on the channel or on Instagram. I'm way more active on Instagram right now, but I do digress, but this is for of Malska gamer. If you're on X, follow Malska gamer hundred percent. Looks like the walls came down. There was a lot of doom and gloom around this project. I'd say that people were saying this is going to kill, you know, the mansion. It wasn't going to look good. Um, I have to disagree. I think this looks really good. Dare I say even better than before, but you know, I don't know. I, I have to agree with you on that one. I mean, I'm just looking at the pictures, <laughs> but it looks very seamless. Like it, like it just like, it was something that was always there. Like that. It was nothing that was like constructed differently but yet but yet it looks better than what it was yeah it looks fantastic and and it addresses some logistical issues too i believe you know it kind of keeps everyone um better organized than it was before i i you know i like it i i do i like the way it looks i like the way it's set up i mean i'm sure they're gonna get like plants like vines to kind of grow around this like trellis and all that right i'm sure of it mm -hmm. um I don't know. Uh, any any thoughts, George, on this? I mean, overall, just kind of you just kind of dig it. I I do. I actually dig the vibe. I think it fits very well with the aesthetics of the mansion that's there for the mansion already. I feel like that there'll be a, a lot more better um, guest flow to move in and out for the park operations <clears throat> uh, to get people into the mansion and out. So, and then again, yeah, just the the overall aesthetics. I love like the uh, the uh, kind of like the the, the plant the, the plants the shrubbery that's that's part of it it just kind of gives that like that southern like Louisiana kind of like um, plantation that moves into the bayou kind of thing so it all fits together yeah no absolutely absolutely I think it looks fan I think it looks great I think it looks great um, overall I'm pretty happy with like over the past I would say I would say decade now I believe Disney has sort of been re configuring new orleans we saw it with pelicans landing right across the way from here mm -hmm. right right by the water we saw it with tiana's palace mm -hmm. we even saw it like years ago i think it was like almost a decade now if i'm not if i'm not mistaken the club 33 expansion you know with the with the with the new lounge which mm -hmm. i know not everyone has been to club 33 but the lounge over there that they added a few years ago is is really really cool. Dare I say that I actually enjoy the lounge a little bit more than the restaurant itself? I mean, don't get me wrong. Restaurant is beautiful. It it's it goes back to the history and of like Walt Disney's time and have you. And I'll always respect it for what it is. But I mean, when it comes to actually 
having an experience like with a meal and stuff, I actually prefer the lounge. Oh, me too. hundred percent. I'm not a hoity toity kind of guy. You know what I'm saying? Like I, the, the whole like five course meal that takes like six hours. I'm not really into that. You know what I'm saying? And a lot of times it's a lot of food that I'm not really into. It's very artsy. It's very, it's plated like very artsy with like, it's like a little amount of food. And there's like a lot of like, like, dr like, like drizzle on it. It's, it's all show and very little substance in my opinion. Um, but the lounge part of it, you can just get like a hamburger, like a big ass hamburger, or you can get like, you know, like tacos or whatever. Like it just, the food is more, is more like it's substantive a pub kind of kind of quality to it right right really good but i will say this the cast members over at club 33 are all really incredible really super friendly really super great they're all amazing just it's just the rest this is the, the 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 main restaurant with the courses and everything it's just not my style I'm, I'm just not into that i like a little more casual vibe and the lounge has that 1901 has a casual vibe too i love 1901 as well it's amazing it's absolutely it's amazing like the photographs that they have on the wall of like walt's early days and everything <clears throat> It's, it's so cool. It's so, so cool. But uh, Italiano, some great stories here today. We talked a little bit about Haunted Mansion. We talked a little about about Destination D. We talked a little bit about, uh, you know, D23 proper and Soren. Any final thoughts before we get out of here? I think just, I, again, I'm looking very much to the future of what Disney has to offer. And I feel like that they're on a very high, um, high trajectory right now moving forward and i feel like that disney is kind of getting out of their slump which you know no surprise here you know the whole company over 100 years has been going up and down like a roller coaster um and that's just how it's always going to be you know up so, and down like your friday night Hydra. yeah basically yeah. <laughs> just kidding, just kidding. Um, all right so everybody at home I mean, what are your thoughts you, you get a little more wet on splash mountain you know or yeah Donna's now it used do to be splash mountain, but do, yeah. do you though george do you though i don't know i don't know yeah i don't know from the stories you tell me i don't know bro <laughs> it, it's competitive for sure <laughs> but uh yeah we had a great conversation George. where can everybody find you at home on social media sir absolutely you can find me on x formerly known as twitter at disney george you could also find me on instagram threads and blue sky under the disney italiano and of course you can find me right here on my home base at orange grove 55 with citrus corner with all that sweet juicy but sometimes sticky Disney news and info. And speaking of Citrus Corner, definitely check out uh, the more recent Citrus Corners that we've done talking about uh, the Monsters, Inc. takeover of the Muppets Courtyard and the Muppets taking over Rock and Roller Coaster. It's a really good conversation that we had. Um, so if you haven't already watched it, definitely check it out on the Citrus Corner playlist. Yeah, no, it's great. And actually, that video is doing really well. A lot of people have been checking it out. It's a good one. It's a really, really good one. So make sure you check it out. Thank you all so, so much for watching. We have a lot more content along the way. Um, we, we wanted, we're doing an Epic Universe video very, very soon with the one, the only Mr. Theme Park Wizard. We're talking all about Universal on that video. Um, I'm sure George and I will do another live show this week. I mean, maybe George will do an Italiano solo again. We'll see, you know, probably before you leave. Um, now, we do have Thanksgiving coming up. So it might be a little lighter on the content. We'll see. But uh, yeah. But everybody at home, thank you so much for watching this episode of OG55. We're going to end the video like we always do. The one and the only, the queen. Here she is. Get thank you for watching OG55. If you aren't already, consider becoming a member today.